Hello, my name is Kai Jacobson, and in this section of the Cryptocurrency Academy, we're going to be exploring a very important website. It's literally going to be the landscape that you're going to be exploring every day to stay current with what's happening in the cryptocurrency universe. It's important to stay current with the crypto markets because that's how you know when to make decisions to do trades, uh, see the general bigger pictures, the very specific detailed pictures and everything. And that happens on this website that I'm going to give you right now. It's called www.coinmarketcap.com. This is exactly what the website looks like at this point in time when you go to it. So when you type in that URL, you'll come to this website and you're going to see that there's lots of links on this page. And we're going to explore some of the major ones so that you get a beginning of the idea of how to navigate it. But it's something you're going to have to put time into and take a lot of time actually and explore a lot of these links and figure some of these things out yourself and get used to what's really the most important ones that you're going to want to be watching every day to kind of gauge what's happening in the marketplace. You're probably going to be going to this site at least 10 or 20 times a day so I guess what I'd say basically the place that you really stay t totally in touch with what's going on in the crypto universe. There's over 1400 coins posted on the site at the time that we made this video and they're always expanding so there's more cryptocurrencies being added on a weekly basis. There are 100 coins per page, so there are many different pages. The most important one, of course, is the first page. And in this tutorial, we'll be exploring this website in PowerPoint. Uh, basically, we made a PowerPoint of each of these pages and slides so that you can go back and review everything at your own pace, section by section, and sink into some of the stuff and take the time to do your true due diligence. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the market cap. So market cap is basically how much money is in all the cryptocurrencies when you put them all together. And that's what that area that you can see marked with the arrow. On the front page, you'll find the daily amount of volume for all the cryptocurrencies. You want to click on this link and it'll open up to a page about more information, as most of these links do too. And the charts will be shown in the history and the daily volume of all the coins. Volume is very important metric to watch and consider when buying or selling. It's important to track for each individual coin as well as the whole total market because that will help you make decisions on what you want to do with your funds. The volume is a key factor in making your decisions. So when you click on that, it's going to open up to a page like this, and it'll show you literally a chart. This is the page that it opens up, and notice that in July, cryptocurrency really picked up. That's the whole market. That's what it's showing. Not only the price, but the volume shown graphically underneath, and that would be this area right here, if you can see it right here. That's the volume that it's showing. The relationship to price going up as well as down is very connected to the increase and decrease in volume. So as the volume changes, more and more people buying or less and less people buying, it's going to change the price. As more money enters the market, all the coins benefit. This chart helps you track what is going on in the marketplace in a big picture way. Now going back to the front page, another link I like to click on every day is the dominance of BTC, which is Bitcoin. And you want to notice and take notice of what that is. This number will tell you the ratio of Bitcoin to all the other coins. That's all the other altcoins put together in the cryptocurrency market. And at this point in time, as you can read there, Bitcoin dominance is 34%, 34.7% actually, to be specific. And that means that Bitcoin is 34.7 of the whole marketplace. In other words, it's that much of it. When I first started doing this about a a year ago it was more around 84 percent or around that area and when you click on this you can go back into the whole history and you'll see it so what's happening now is as as the whole market evolves and the the marketplace matures more and more of these altcoins are taking a bigger piece of that marketplace now that does fluctuate back and forth and that does affect the decisions of how you want to be doing trades and investing your funds again this can be very helpful in knowing how to allocate your funds in bitcoins or whether to put them in the altcoins if you click on the link it will open up to a helpful graph and the history of the ratio of bitcoin cap to some of the other major altcoin markets let me show you what that is so when you click on that link, this is what opens up. And this is today's one that when we were making this video, and you can see that in this graph, the tan area there is all the Bitcoin. And each one of some of the coins down at the very bottom, you can track on their, their color codes. And you can see that they're talking about Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ripple, and so forth. It also shows some of the major altcoins, which I just mentioned at the bottom. By clicking on the small arrow at the left 
bottom corner, which where the arrow is showing, uh, you can scroll back in time and see the ratio. So you can keep going back, back, back and seeing how much Bitcoin dominance was compared to the altcoins over time. And it does fluctuate. And you can see that the price has a very big correlation to what the volume is in the whole market. And a last section that I'd like to show you right on the front page here is to search for individual coins. When you click on one of the coins that are, there are 100 per page, like in this case, we're going to click on Litecoin, you'll be able to open up to a page that gives you so much more information about that specific coin. And if you don't find it on that front page, you can actually, in that search box, which is the next arrow up at the top, put in the name of the coin that you want to search, as well as the short abbreviation of the letter abbreviation if you have it and then hit that little magnifying glass and it will search for it and find and then you can actually go directly to that coin even if it's on the fifth or sixth page back. It's a very very helpful way to navigate and start getting much more information about each individual coin. Now you're on the Litecoin page. So if you click on that one that we just showed, which was Litecoin, it opens up to a page like this. The same thing is going to happen for each of the individual coins. And now you have a lot more information about just that one coin. As you can see, there are many links to click on. Take the time to explore and click on each of these links they open up to a wealth of information that's just invaluable in making your decisions whether you might want to buy that coin or sell that coin or what's really happening with that coin. Now I'm going to go through some of the links that you can actually click on when you're on that individual coin. Now it will be the same for each and every individual coin. The first link here we're going to be talking about are the charts and here you can see a chart. This will show you a graphic format how the coin has performed in price compared to Bitcoin and USD. Basically these two lines that you see the green one is in compared to the US dollar. The gold one is how it's performing in, in comparison to Bitcoin. You can adjust the size of the chart in many ways and you can go back in time and also see the history by manipulating it. At the very bottom you also can see the volume of amount of trades that are coming in which is a very important factor when you're making decisions and you'll notice when there's more volume there's usually a bigger increase going up and also can be when there's more volume a bigger increase coming down faster uh, the second link over there on the uh, left side of the top page is markets now when you click this link it's going to open up to a page that tells you what exchanges that this particular coin is traded on where you can actually buy and sell it. So in this one you can see GDAX is at the top, Bitfinex, Binance, and so forth for Litecoin. And some of the bigger coins have lots like Bitcoin has pages and pages of exchanges that it's on because it's on all exchanges almost and some of them that are very new coins might only be on one or two exchanges and this can be very important information because you can look on this chart to the right where the volume is showing and you can see what exchange it's mostly being traded on you want to be on an exchange where that coin is trading a lot so that, that you can liquidate the stock if you want to that it's easy to buy it easy to sell it when you want to get out and the bigger the volume on that exchange for that particular coin allows you to be much more facile in how you move in and out of it. Very important to know where that is and it also it's important to know that different exchanges have different prices on the coin. That can be very interesting too. Some exchanges it can be as much as 10% difference in price even sometimes 15%. The next one as you're going to, to the right on the top menu is social media. Now this is a page when you click on it for in this case Litecoin and as I said each page will be individual for each coin. You can see what kind of social media information is happening on it. Like right here you can see tweets that are happening on it. There'll be Facebook and other types of social media and you can start becoming part of groups and chats and so forth and follow the coin more carefully and stay very current with the most current news and what people are saying about it and get a feel of how the world's thinking about this coin and that can make a very big difference on how you choose to allocate your funds. The next one is tools and there's sometimes on each coin they have certain little tools and widgets and, uh, and, and things that you can see even API and so forth. Here on Litecoin it gives you a little bit of information about some of the tools that are available in the coin to use. The last one is my favorite link and that I use a lot. This is probably my one I hit on every coin and really use a lot and that's the historical data. And when you click that coin it gives you the information on a daily basis of where the coin opened up during the day, the high of the day of the coin price point, the low of the day, and where it closed. It also tells you the volume that's been happening and the market cap for the cap the coin. A lot of information going across and I like going back in history and seeing how the coin in terms of numbers not just a chart this is more numerical you know what the price points are am, am I buying it at the very top 
of the the height of the coin. I want to know that so that maybe I might wait a while and see if it comes back a little bit or if it's really hot I just can't resist and I have to get on I do. But this gives you such a good feel and if you click the next area that's circled there that will drop down in a drop down menu and you can see three months, one year, two years and so forth and see a much bigger span so you can see a lot more information if you want to drill into it and see if there's a pattern that's starting to form. Like I've noticed on some coins that I track I do investments in personally every couple months there's kind of a big push that happens it seems like and you can't know that for sure but if you start seeing a wave or a pattern of when money comes into it you might decide to hold the coin a little longer and wait for what we call a pump in, in the industry happens if that's of something you're seeing in these charts and this information so this historical data is so important and I really kind of track where it closes every day as, as kind of a, a sense of what happened for that day but you can see how much it can vary within a day too. Very important information you'll be using that particular link a lot. Coin Market Cap. This website is truly amazing. It will become your best friend, a place you'll visit many times every day. Invest your time and learn all the links. I haven't done all the links. I've just done the major links. Um, but invest your time and get very familiar with this because it has a lot to offer. This website can literally change your life. If you learn it and become very familiar with it, it will be your roadmap as to whether you want to buy a coin or just wait or sell a coin and make those kinds of decisions. This will give you so much of that information between all the things that you can read on price point, on volume, on what's being said on social media about it, and some of the historical information on it. Very, very, very important website. Take your time, get educated, learn the ropes, and we're so happy to invite you to join the evolution and the revolution that cryptocurrency represents. You know, the world's changing. The blockchain and cryptocurrency gives everyone a chance to succeed, and that's what's so special here. Everyone has a chance to succeed. It really is the greatest transfer of wealth that we'll ever see in our lifetime that's happening here in the cryptocurrency markets.